What drives Michigan? Is it the cars or is it the people? Well, this is a show about interesting people and interesting cars. And today we're going to drive with Kevin Nether, who is better known as the Tech Ninja on YouTube, where he has amassed over 180,000 subscribers and over 20 million views to date. Now, why am I hosting this? Some writer-director from Los Angeles. Well, that's because my entire family lives in Michigan and they just keep telling me I have to move back. So I'm here to find out why. Because this is Suburban Drives Michigan. Since Kevin regularly compares and contrasts tech gadgets on his channel, I thought we could do the same on our show. So I found two of the techiest cars I could, the Chevy Bolt and the BMW i3. Two electric cars that you don't see driving fast all that often, until today. Because we're back at the M1 concourse to have a professional show us what these two little dynamos are capable of, before I take our lives into my hands. Oh, yeah. Today we're going to drive the Chevy Bolt, I'm going to drive the BMW i3, and we're going to find out which one we like more. They're both smaller, would you call them compact electric cars? They're definitely compact. Everybody buckled in? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh boy, already. <laughs> pretty good. 87 miles an hour on the straightaway. This thing's pretty quick. Yo. <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> that is so good. <laughs> it feels like an ab workout. <laughs> you must have done this a few times. <laughs> yeah, maybe a thousand or so. Have laps you ever this gone this fast in a car on turns, no. Kevin? Uh, no. <laughs> and if I did, I wouldn't say it. <laughs> okay, you definitely know. Yeah. <laughs> it was almost 70 in there. That's Ooh. impressive. I was definitely oh, impressed. I can tell you everything I had for breakfast just now. Wow. <laughs> Isn't it, don't you agree though, like it's a permagrin when it's yeah, oh, yeah. as soon as you start going, like I was, I was screaming so loud the first time uh, I went with him and he goes, you okay? And I go, I think so. Yeah. <laughs> Your smile progresses from exciting to, to scared to I'm about to, to throw to up. And then, yeah, it's a, it's a big circle of smiles, it's so a, yeah. It's the <laughs> circle of smiles. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Funny oh, how it's we, got a sport mode? This is the first thing you look for in a car, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's sport? First thing I look for. That sport. can tell you how someone drives if the first thing they look for is a sport mode. Whereas uh, I'm like, there's only one cup holder, guys. <laughs> what the heck? Now that we've done our fast laps with Aaron, yep. let's do our talking laps. Talking laps. <laughs> I'm putting it into drive, checking my hair. I think I'm good. <laughs> there we go. You grew up in Michigan. Yeah. Always lived in Michigan or did you ever leave? I've always lived in Michigan my whole life. Any desire to live anywhere else? You know, in, even in Michigan, you could be well-traveled because there's so much opportunity up north and upper peninsula where you can get whatever you want. You can get white sandy beaches up north in Petoskey. You can get bears and stuff like that. I mean, you can get whatever you want in Michigan. And that's what makes Michigan nice. You can get whatever you want in Michigan. You get whatever you want in Michigan. That is a great poster. You can get whatever you want in Michigan. Whatever you need, Michigan got it for you. <laughs> what was your first car? I had a uh, Pontiac Sunfire that lasted three days. Pontiac Sunfire. It lasted three days, the thing just was leaking oil. What and, year was it? Like uh, 1994. I was a caddy, I was a golf caddy. 
And then I worked at Pizza Hut, my first two jobs, saved up all the money I could, and I bought that car cash. I was so excited, and then it blew up on me, literally. The, the, the hood was smoking, and it was just a bad situation. Three days after buying the car. But I thought it was the coolest thing ever. What's this right um, Oh, boy. <laughs> what, are you, what, are you, what are you doing? What are you doing? What's your dream car? Uh, Marcielago. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just like the name. No, it's just, I, I don't know, man. I remember seeing it in one of the Mission Impossible movies and he went under the little turn stop thing. I was like, oh man, you don't have to the pay for parking. You have to pay for parking. You just go right <laughs> underneath the thing, you know? That's something I would love to have. Uh, I love this car. It's not, yeah, it's I fun. gotta say, I'm excited to try the other one. We are now in the Bolt. Okay. Chevy Bolt. Yes. Does it feel lighter to you or is that just me? No, the, the Bolt definitely feels like a feels like a lighter car and it feels zippier. It yes, this car is definitely faster. Right? Yeah, because I'm, I'm, I'm judging off how uncomfortable I am with you driving. <laughs> and, and as my comfort level goes oh, up, I'm sure, okay, <laughs> I'm sure this car is faster. Now my show is about me making interesting people and in interesting cars feel interestingly uncomfortable. Yeah. <laughs> this was supposed to be our slow lap when we talk. <laughs> what, what, what happened to that? How often do you get a chance to drive, to drive and really go for it? Never. Like, let's say someone's watching this and they want to start their own YouTube channel. Yeah. How do you get found? How to get found? I think a better thing is to to know is that everyone in the world, seven billion people, five billion people, can access the internet right now. And what you like, someone else likes it. So you need to do things that you're into and things that you're passionate about because that will come through on the video. Like be true to yourself true, yeah, and find the other people that are like, I yeah, dig that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and if they, because if, people can spot phony people, especially people from Michigan. So as long as you're true to yourself and you post stuff that matters to you, it's just a matter of time till you find those people to follow you. What's your everyday everyday driver? I drive a 2009 Hyundai Genesis, the, the, the V8. Hyundai Genesis? Hyundai Genesis, okay. yeah. Ooh, didn't feel anything. Oh. Ooh, here you go. <laughs> so the show's called Suburban Drives Michigan, right? Yep. So I ask everybody, what do you think drives Michigan? Yeah, I think Michigan is such a, we're such a resilient state. Um, we've been through so many things with the, the automotive industry that, you know, that drives Michigan for sure. And now there's a big transition and a big shift with that. Um, we're finding other ways to, you know, feed our families. We're finding other ways to, to thrive in, uh -huh. in this economy that's forever changing. And I, I definitely think that people drive Michigan. Yep. Having watched your show enough and watched the way you review and compare things, now that we've we've ridden in both fast, yeah. we've oh, actually yeah. had a leisurely stroll in both. Some, I scared somewhat, you somewhat, somewhat leisurely. Somewhat. I take <laughs> half the blame for that. Yeah. How do you tie it all together at the end? Overall, this car, the Chevy was a lot more fun to be in. Yes. I, I will admit, it was the... It the scared pickup. us more. Yes, and I mean, that's a good the thing. The scare was a good thing on the, a racetrack. Uh, the, the pickup on this car shocked me. It actually put me back in my seat a little bit. Mm -hmm. Not comfortable with you. you gotta be Woo! honest. Woo! That is faster. Yeah. He is yeah. faster. You just, you just reached 86, so. And then when going to the BMW, um, I wasn't as blown away as far as the pickup. Now, as far as cornering and turns, um, I would say the BMW just felt more tight on the road. Oh yeah. I do like the interior of the car. This has got that Jetsons feel to it. Yeah, right? yeah, and that's, I like, I like this wood grain. Just the premium textures in the car, just the, the feel, the look. It, it's unique, it's interesting. Yeah. Definitely turn some heads unique if someone and interesting. sees you. Yeah. I agree with you on yeah. that. Yeah. First off, I'm surprised how much fun electric cars on a racetrack. Yes. There's something about the pickup with electric, how yeah. fast they yeah. spin up, yeah. that was really scary and wonderful. Mm -hmm. It's shocking how far we've come with electric vehicles too. Because in my head, when I think of electric vehicle, I think of something slow, just you know, good for the environment, yada yada. I didn't know it can be so much fun to drive. Yeah. And that's that's big. Yeah. It's not having that acceleration delay too. You hit yeah. the gas and you go. Mm -hmm. Overall, they both impressed me. Very fast cars, faster than I thought they would be, and it's just a, just a, it was a lot of fun. I'm Jeff. Kevin, the tech ninja. You hit the gas and you go. <laughs> Suburban Drives Michigan is brought to you by the Suburban Collection, representing 37 different automotive brands in over 50 locations throughout Michigan. From your first car to your dream car, 
and everything in between. The Suburban Collection. Thanks for watching, please hit subscribe, but even more than that, I need to know in the comment section down below who you think drives Michigan. It could be your mom, your dad, your high school coach, the fireman who saved a kitten, or even somebody famous, like, I don't know, what, are you from Michigan?